main station, or one of the platforms of the main station, not the whole thing. Guess what I got, beginning with L? Lovely, eh? Yes, what else? Yes, lost. I got a little bit lost. It's a huge uh, place, but um, thanks to the help of the kindness of strangers, I'm here. So I'm about to take my first proper train journey, not the metro, that's for little boys. I've got my Japan Rail Pass, which is a 21-day pass in this instance, which allows me to travel anywhere on the JR rail system in the whole of Japan. There are a few things you can't do with it, but basically it's pretty flipping good. One of the recommended things to do when you take a long train journey is to get a thing called a bento. A bento is a little box of Japanese goodies. But my tummy's feeling a little bit uncertain, shall we say, after something I ate yesterday. Probably that Burger King. Should have got the Queen. Uh, so I decided to chicken out. I've got a bagel. But the, the bento boxes have a huge selection of interesting things. And I will experiment more with them, but when my tummy's feeling more robust and ready for battle. Off to a place called Uno. U N O. Oh, was it? U, that's it. U N O. I don't think it's where they invented the game, but it's a way you can get to a place called Neoshima, which is where I'm actually ultimately headed. Just waiting for my bullet train to arrive. Huh, yeah, it's mine, I bought it. Uh, and then I'll get on it. station called, I can't remember what it's called, but it's in Japan. And when I left the hostel this morning, they gave me this lovely little package with a couple of sweeties and a homemade Pokemon, my favourite, um, you know, no, what's it called? Pikachu. This one's called Pikachu. Peek at you. Uh -huh. Get it? So that's what they gave me this morning. And now I, I've got some snacks for the train. You always have to have snacks for the train. It's a thing you do when you were a child. You always have snacks for the train. Now I've got this. Okari Sweat which I'm really looking forward to. It, uh, it, uh, it smoothly supplies the lost water and electrolytes during perspiration. Also, it helps you when you sweat. I'll have to try and sweat a bit more so I can really enjoy it then, but there we go. Bacari sweat. Sounds a bit like Bacardi, doesn't it, Bacari? Don't think it is, though. Uh, I've just arrived at, um, oh, wherever I, wherever I am, somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, Yokohama, Yokohama. I came through the station, I saw this little thing and I couldn't work out what it was. And I pushed the, uh, trying to make it work, and it just seems to sort of follow you around. Most peculiar. Look, 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 look at this. Look. I don't know what else it does, but that's enough for me. I'm off to get the next train. What can't you see? You can't see the ferry. I'm always going on about how important it is when you're backpacking to make sure you get your plan sorted out and you minimise your risk of things not going right. So in this case, I completely forgot that I might need to know what time the ferry boats go. Haven't missed the last one, but it's another hour and a half. So I'm going to wander around Uno for an hour and a half. God, wish me luck. I might show you a few things if I find anything. Oh, it's raining as well, it's dribbly rain. If I find anything interesting, I'll show you, but wouldn't count on it. Don't hold your breath. Yeah, as I got here, I thought, I wonder if I'm going to miss the last ferry, but no, I haven't. No, no, I'm far too clever for that. Uno Bicycle Museum, or oh, the Bicycle uh, United Colours of Benetton Bicycles. It is looking like I may not have chosen the best day to go out on a bicycle around an island looking at bits of art that are strewn around. However, I don't always have a choice. This is interesting. It's an anchor made from lots and lots and lots of little bits and pieces. I don't know. Are they things? Are they simply abstractions? Is this like the film Tetsuo? I leave you to decide, but... What a... Oh, my feet are getting wet. 
I quite like it actually, it's quite uh, quite dramatic, it's not dramatic. And of course now the, the anchor looks a bit more like a robot, there's his head and his arms. But, oh, I'd like that one. What with the art, art criticism being my one of my fortes, one of my many fortes, about the 38th forte. There we are, there's a, um, I don't know, like that I spoke, no I don't know, how do I, no, I don't know. Oh, you come here and do it. Anyway, there we have the famous Uno Anchor. Do you know, somebody called me an anchor the other day. I think that's, I think that's what he said. Oh no, he called me a Look, do you wish you had a girlfriend like this? This is the goddess of love who's got two legs, apparently a leg coming out of one of the other legs, hair going all the way down her back into, I don't know where that's going, and a generous rump, I think is what we'd say. She's quite, uh, you know, does she remind you of your girlfriend? If so, well, write in. Ooh, I'm not gonna, shall I, shall I have a, no, 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 don't be rude. There's no need for that, is there? No need for that. The delights of Uno in this little park in front of the railway station are not yet done. I've just seen another one. The station itself is quite something. It's very snazzy, isn't it? Question is, is it a snazzy design or is it all gaffer taped together after an earthquake? They have lots of earthquakes in Japan. Most of them they just go, huh. But sometimes they're horrible ones and they kill people. Uh, people ride on the pavements a lot, so I guess it's okay. Look, see everyone's just happily riding on the bike. See that? And they did that a lot in Tokyo. Not those people, because they're not, they may have, I might not have seen them. But yeah, but cycling on the um, pathways is not, un, uh, it's a, you can do it, I think. It must be legally okay, because lots of people do it. Perhaps I wonder and I care too much, but I spotted this and I thought, hello. This is an interesting slide. Perhaps it's built for offspring of uh, offspring of that goddess we saw. As, I mean, if you came down there as a child, especially as a boy, you could have stent. I suppose you could. Yeah, you could easily, couldn't you? Get your legs parted and end up bashing your undercarriage. This is. I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think as a child I'd have really wanted to go down that slide with a, a two out of three chance of whacking your gonads instead of just having the fun of motion. Just fussy though, aren't I? Fussy. What is the... Going back to the ferry now because it's wet, miserable, and I've had enough of walking around Uno, and I think Uno's had enough of me walking around it.